the biggest benefit for St. Thomas students uh, with our college counseling department is the fact that I'm going to know every single kid in every single class and we'll know them well. From the proximity that I have to the hallway where I get to see and interact with the kids every single day uh, to the, the small numbers of students that I serve. Uh, that allows me to really get to know the students well. It gets, allows me to get to know the families well and it, it creates a relationship. I have such a, a close proximity to the students and a small amount of students that I serve, I can build those relationships so that when we start having tough conversations about uh, making selections, making a college list, um, talking about finances, talking about uh, future plans, it's much, much easier to have those conversations if I have a relationship already with the family and with the students. So that's one of the biggest benefits of uh, the College Counseling Department for the students at St. Thomas. Uh, we're going to have conversations freshman year with our students, but we're not going to talk about college lists and test scores yet. What we're going to talk about with our freshmen is how to have a great high school experience. And that includes really focusing on their studies, but it also includes finding things outside of the classroom that are meaningful to them, things that enrich their lives. And rather than talking about what do we need to do to have material for a college resume, we want to talk about what can you do to enrich your life while you're in high school and then we're going to put those things on the resume. Then sophomore year, we're going to talk a little bit more about grades and a little bit more about what to expect junior year, but we're still going to focus on having a, a, an enriching and meaningful experience in high school. And then junior year, we're going to pick the kids up in the fall and we will start individual meetings. We will meet with uh, the students and the families and we will walk them through the timeline because junior year is where we really start looking at uh, who do we want to write letters of recommendation? How are we gonna to prepare to write essays? Uh, what classes are we taking junior year and what classes do we need to take senior year? So junior year is where it really sort of ramps up. We really wanna focus on the courses, the coursework. We wanna start talking about standardized testing and whether or not we wanna go test optional or whether we want to use scores and what that timeline looks like in, in terms of preparation for those standardized tests. We talk about college visits. And then uh, beginning spring of junior year, uh, the juniors and I are best friends and we stay in touch throughout the summer. And then when August rolls around, we have workshops on how to fill out the applications. We walk them through the, every step of that process. We walk them through the application process in the fall when everybody comes back to campus the financial aid process that opens in October, and the whole first semester of senior year, we spend working on the applications, and then that cycle repeats. Uh, it's gonna be time for the seniors to move on, and we pick up the, the conversation with the freshmen and the sophomores and so on.